Sheldon's Neuroscience Park. I am Sheldon Park. I'm going to introduce Neuroscience Park now. And this video is to enjoy neuroscience easily. Um, but first of all, the, what I'm saying might not be wrong about whole neuroscience. I just I'm trying to tell you a small piece of neuroscience in my opinion. Okay, briefly I'm telling you about me. I was born in Korea and I spent my PhD course in Seoul National University. Uh, you can see the left side. And I studied synaptic plasticity. Uh, later I'm going to tell I'm going to explain these things in detail. After I graduated my PhD course, I moved to Toronto for my postdoc fellow, postdoctor, postdoctoral fellow. And here is Dr. Shona Josalin's lab in the CK's hospital in Toronto. You can see the right side. Uh, this year is my second year. Uh, simply, neuroscience your science is separated into the central nerve science and peripheral nerve science. I'm going to focus central nerve science. We can say brain science. Brain. What is brain? Uh, simply, we can draw brain like this. Uh, generally, the brain is known as uh, the, the harvest body part. And there are lots of wrinkles. Uh, this is a very important point to distinguish human being from and the other animals. In the human brain, the number of neurons is estimate, estimated by 100 billion. Out of these, 16 billion are located in central uh, cerebral uh, cortex, and 69 billion are in the cerebellum. And this information came from Wikipedia. I'm not going to explain the general information for human brain. You can easily reach human uh, huge information online. Here, I'm going to only talk about neuroscience with my opinion and thought. When I was a graduate student, I took a class for brain anatomy. So, I had a chance to watch the post-fixed human brain. Like this. The first reaction to a post-fixed human brain that was not good. Was not, was not good. A little bit scary. In a second, I was interested in this. The cutting was horizontal direction, and I could see whole things involving skin, skull, and brain. Of course, the class was a time to try touching the brain. I'm imaginative. So, it seems it seems that it seems that. I was connected with brain's owner if I touched the brain. Yeah, like this. Uh, there's no, uh, yeah, so, uh, the, but that didn't happen to me. A very long time ago, people thought the brain is linked to soul or spirit. Uh, there's no scientific evidence. One of famous scientists had said, yeah, had said, the brain is the miniature, or miniature brain is a miniature of a universe. Yeah, like this. I agree with the, uh, his mention. When you look at brain tissue under microscope, you can see small or big sized neurons involving different types of cells. The background is black and fluorescence is only bright light stars. In addition, in the standpoint of unknown things, a brain and universe are very similar. We, 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 we still don't know very well about the connection, function, and activity between your cells. For now, I will uh, let you know neuroscience thing one by one under my knowledge and in my mind. Okay, as time goes by, the technique has been 
highly, highly, highly developed to meet huge demands. A few decades ago, we couldn't record any signals from a freely moving animal. We only killed animals to extract brain, and we could only approach to the brain's inside. We call these things ex vivo recording. The left side of the slide, and in the in vivo recording, the right side of slide. Ex vivo recording means um, that uh, we extract brain from animal. Whereas in vivo recording is to allow an animal to be alive. Each approach has good thing. Uh, each approach has a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, these these methods uh, methods are for neurophysiological research. In addition, many scientists do molecular work uh, like um, RNA, DNA, and protein. They use a cell culture system. My PhD work was based on electrophysiology, so I tended, you know, so I intended to focus on neurophysiology. But sometimes I'm going to also introduce uh, the other field for neuroscience, even though there are many different tools and techniques for neuroscience. I would like to talk about optogenetics. Optogenetics is very fancy and a useful tool to manipulate neural activity. I'm briefly telling you what optogenetics is. Uh, the principle is like this. Uh, there, are, there is a kind of protein um, that can be act, uh, affected by light stimulation. And this is from the microbiome. We call this the protein. We we call we call this protein opsin. Opsin is a kind of channel protein and uh, on the cell membrane. The structure is the same as transmembrane protein. In many, there are two different opsins. The one is activating neural activity. Uh, the other is inhibiting neural activity. So, we can choose opsins for the goal of uh, each experiment. A generally blue laser, generally blue laser uh, or light can activate neural activation. On the other hand, the red laser is, can inhibit neural activity. With these techniques, neuroscience has been hugely developed. Optogenetics has been applied to many different behavior, neuroscience, or neurobiology, as well as fear memory field. Yeah, actually, the fear memory field is the mind field. In the near future, uh, this tool might be applied to human being. For now, some drugs or behavior therapies are used to used for patients with mental health diseases. Uh, this feature is uh, now what I want to exactly say, but uh, this means that animal levels the studies can be employed to human level. On the left side, the mice brain, uh, in the right side, the human brain. And then uh, this figure came from the neuro uh, Nature Neuroscience, the 2000, 2016, the March. Yeah. Okay. That is all what I tried to say. I'm so much worried. I'm so much worried um, whether this video is good or good for you or not. Because the original goal is this video is not to deliver any knowledge. I would like to enjoy my time. In the next time, I'm going to show my PhD work. I really hope you would be excited. Thank you for your time and attention. Have a wonderful day.